Hello, Astrid. Are you going to help us today? Pretty bird. Maybe. No. This is your first time on the third floor. It's kind of weird. What a mess. That's what you're thinking. What a mess this place is. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. What do you think, feather dog? Feather dog? Are you a feather dog? Are you a feather dog? Or are you going to eat my fingers? Eat my fingers. Eat my fingers. Eat my fingers. Eat my fingers. I trust this bird implicitly. <laughs> like, seriously. See, I would never bite. He is like the sweetest thing ever. What? And he'll make a lot of noise and like grumbles and whatever. He's like a puppy. But he yeah. Likes to play. Yes, we play. And he nibbles, but he doesn't like bite down. He's just, he's so cool. He's like, what is that Can giant kiss? thing? Good bird. Who's a feather dog? Kiss, kiss. You are. He's like, what have you got? Oh, what is that contraption? It's so fascinating. You're gonna oh. fall. Don't fall. You're gonna try to jump. Nah. Oh, you love your daddy. He's such a good bird. Is that silly? Is that silly? You're gonna laugh. Maybe some of his personality will rub off on the other one. She's so miserable. She's just a baby. Oh, who wants oh. to eat your camera? That's my camera. Okay, well, yesterday we filmed my death room which really like just sounds crazy. Um, and for those of you who didn't see the video, it's basically an analogy to a death pile, which is what resellers refer to the stuff that they bought and intended to resell and then just never got around to. So this is my death pile slash room. And um, this morning, I filmed that video last night. This morning, we are going to be packing up stuff to give to Casey for her to list um, and she lists from home, so basically we're gonna pack these boxes. Walter's gonna drive out to Casey. They're going to exchange, like out, like what, if she leaves the boxes in her car and then he, yeah, it's like a remote, like weird thing that we do because of the current events. Um, so they're gonna exchange boxes. We're gonna get back the stuff that she has listed, give her new stuff to list while she's just hanging out at her house. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna pack some boxes. Figured we'd have the birds here to join us because they're always entertainment. <laughs> and um, here we go. This is your stroke, my bird. You work. I stroke. <laughs> I have to make sure I got the follow up for that. Ah, that's my face. Ah, uh, uh. He wants to <laughs> eat my face. face and then laugh at me. <laughs> Just like, oh, I don't know what's going on. All right, so this box has actually been sitting around for quite some time. And I think I'm going to put some of this stuff in there. Um, I think these are just all the same. They're all kind of different sizes, though. But maybe we'll just do groupings. They're all different. That's the thing. I don't know how old they are. They seem to have some age. We got Fiesta Weir here, obviously. We've got these, and I forget what the pattern name is for these. Ooh. But yeah, there's some good stuff in here, so I'm gonna pack up this stuff for her, and we'll sell it off in lots. And uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got all of these in here. Now, I do have a lot more of them. And I held back all of the ones with chips. So I don't know if these are worth trying to sell or not. So if any of my viewers are interested in me listing the chipped ones, let me know because otherwise I'm just going to hold them back. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. There's a lot of them, so yeah. Can I eat the wall? All right, I know the lighting at this angle isn't the best because we've got 
the window in the back. But you know what? We're going to just deal with it. Uh, I'm also sending this bowl with Casey. I believe it's a Chinese bowl. I showed you guys this yesterday as well. But it's got a repair here. It's not the worst repair ever, but it is a repair. Worth noting. red plates. They are Washington Bicentennial plates. Oh, those are the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution ones. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I believe they're wedge. I think, I want to say they're Wedgwood. They are Wedgwood. And they are actually good plates. Okay. They are not uh, super cheap plates. They're desirable. All right. I want to say they're about 20, 25 bucks a piece. Heck is what yeah. they should sell for. Why have they been sitting up here for so long? Because you look at that stuff and you go, oh, it's bicentennial crap. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> well, the majority of it does not have much value, but those, those actually are desirable plates. it with a little bit of this. Ashen is just... <laughs> he's, a, he's just a boy that's he's stuck just, in the house for weeks. And he's just, he's with, down there singing and... You know, eight years old crammed in a house for weeks. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't gone bonkers. He's sooner. like, can I get a haircut? I'm like, no, you never want a haircut. Why do you want a haircut right now when you can't have it? That's why he wants it. Because you can't have one. I'm going to change this angle. Ta-da! That was brilliant, wasn't it? That was it? Yes. There you go. <laughs> it's so much better. Now they can actually <laughs> see me when I'm talking. <laughs> that was the angle I wanted. Oh, boy. Oh. I'm this right. thing really is like a dog. I swear to God. It's a feather dog. I, he, he's I, legitimately he's he's a flipping dog. Yeah. But that's like that's what they were telling us at the bird store. I know some of you aren't interested in birds, but those of you who are like talking to us about birds, they were saying that this is the difference between the macaw and the Amazon. Is the macaw is just like always real super cuddly. It's just in their nature. And the Amazon is a little bit more indifferent. They can be cuddly. There's always exceptions, but they were explaining this to us. Um, <laughs> the Amazon versus the macaw. The macaw. <laughs> yeah. I think I want to get another one of these. <laughs> I want to have two of these. You want to have two of those? I want two of these. If I was to get can another... We trade, can we trade the other one in? No! Like, she's like, going to come around. She's she has no personality. To... She's so she's, mean. She's going to come around. Just trust me. The more time we spend with her, the more we talk to her, the more... She's going to come around. Yeah, she did let me pet her there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, see? She wouldn't have done that a week ago. Like no, she, she would have ripped my finger off a exactly. week ago. Exactly. We just got to keep, keep working with her. I mean, she's taking a lot longer than the other one, but... Yeah. Well, this one was easy once I figured out pistachios were the yes. key. She likes popcorn. We need to get some plain popcorn. Yes. She likes popcorn. All right. So, um, I'm going to do this guy right here. Little bunny soap dish. I'm going to put that in there because it's spring and bunnies are it's totally fun. spring. It's not fun. It's not I, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Like We're gonna get some stuff out of here. I, I wanna, I, I don't know. I was kind of thinking about boxing it up and just taking it all over to the building, but no, it's better I just think, to get rid of it yeah, here. Yeah, I was gonna say if we can box it up and send it over. But then if Walter wants to move his bedroom in here, then I could have my office back. <laughs> yes, you could. And then we could start charging the rent. Ah, I like the way you think. <laughs> he is making all that money in the shipping department. Time. We, you know, we've had a couple claims. Uh, 
Uh, but I think it's it's basically been not his negligence. I don't really think. The post think. office has been brutal. Yeah, I mean, there was a couple instance. There was one instance where I think it, it could have had a little extra padding in one in the one scenario. But other than that, I just he, he does a great job. I that's my lip, dude. Oh, silver crest. You're gonna put that in the Casey box. Keep trying to eat my lips. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, this week I think our plan is to go visit Paul's warehouse again. Yes. On Thursday. Yeah. And uh, we've got some footage from Eric's house. We went over to Eric's and hung out in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> And I uh, got some stuff from him, kind of for, for real this time. This was like the probably some of the last stuff that we were going to get from him. For a while. For a while. Yeah. As far as new stuff goes, I mean. Now, you, bear in mind, there is an entire humongous pile sitting yeah. over at the shop of that one booth clean out we did. We still haven't even messed with it yet. We haven't filmed any of it. We haven't really. I, the only thing I've looked at is the books. And that's it because I needed to limit the pile yeah. because the pile was twice as big before I went through the books and it would have just been too much in the books. And <laughs> She's trying to bite your hand as you're... <sighs> She's so mean. Oh, Astrid! Why are you so mean? She's okay. angry. It's the world. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Um... Okay. This isn't the most exciting video ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what you get when we're trapped inside and we're and we're trying to do our best. And I'm just trying not to get bit over here. He's just trying not to get bit. Because I talk and I use my hands like an Italian and then just like <laughs> it. I think we might as well list this. This enamel piece. Oh, that's cool. You know, I was bummed out because I didn't have a signature for it. And I kind of felt like it may be something good. And so that's why I put it off. I don't believe there was a signature on it. I feel like, I, the, yeah, I was trying to research it a little bit more, but I'm tired of it. It's professionally done. Oh, the absolutely. Way the way it's framed, the way it's done, yeah. That's like a purple but you velvet. But you would think that if if it was me, like the artist would have signed it. Like it's a really nice piece. My thought is possibly that it's on the back. Oh, uh, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, but yeah. it's it's bolted in here. I don't know. I'm uncomfortable taking it out. But it is enamel. So we'll put that in the box. All right, on to the next box. Can I help you? Are you having a moment? This is my buddy. Like legitimately. I started petting her and he like curled up underneath my neck because he was jealous. And then I grab, like, I'll get under his wings here, and I'll hold his wing up, and I'll play with his wing a little bit. And he lets me play with his wing, and then, like, sometimes I can even unfurl his wings, which is kind of cool. I mean, <laughs> the amount of trust this bird has is insane. I just, I can't get over it. So, I give it back to him, and I trust him. I mean, he's still, you still got to watch these guys, because they have, like, really bad involuntary movements sometimes. And he's gotten me, like, right here. Yeah. But like beaking, not trying to bite, but that, that hook. And if that gets your eye, so oh, I'm always, yeah. I'm always aware. I'm always aware of where my eyes are in comparison to him because it's really the only thing I worry about. Other than that, bite my fingers all day long cause he's not hurting me. This one, I'm not even going to attempt that. You just, <laughs> you're just not very nice yet. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm just gonna finish packing up this box right here with the ducks with the ducks I've been uh, reading the comments as I'm packing to see what it is in that video that people were like hey I like that. I would love to see that listed and oh that was great. I'd love to see that listed um, So I'm just keeping an eye on that as I'm packing this stuff up Yeah, there was a oh, it's got a doink. It's got a doink <laughs> Yeah, it does. No, that's inside the... What? That's so weird. Look at how that happened. I know. It's inside the glass. Uh, I know. That's why I never listed oh, it. That sucks. I that's think weird. that might be... It's, here, let me show them. 
I don't know if they can see it. We're talking about this piece that I showed you guys last night. I'm thinking it could be chalet. I don't know. Just because of that base. Oh, I it. got a message from one of our viewers. I, I got to go back and read it, but um, chalet and another company have something to do with each other. I think I mean, chalet. I no, it's another company. Oh. It's another Canadian company. Really? Because um, I had a comment on my video that Chalet was actually formed by some of the artisans in Murano. And that's why the glass has so many similarities. Okay, so so yes, yeah. that well that might be part of it. Um, but let me let me see if I can pull up on my I thought own. that was such a cool fact. Because when you're going through that art glass, they, they are very similar. Um, but when I pulled that one piece out, it just it struck me as chalet because we had that amethyst vase that we got at Goodwill a while back. That sold for $250 because the amethyst, I guess, is a rare color. And so I, I remembered that amethyst chalet vase and that blue piece that we pulled out of the box was very similar. Um, oh, that's a pretty cup. Where, I, I gotta find that message. Now. Let's find the loving cup. Somebody asked about the loving cup and also this picture here. Oh. So we're going to be putting the loving cup into the box. Yeah, there was, well, there, it, I, I believe it was two companies merged. It was Chalet and another company merged and their work is very similar because the, the blue piece that you have, yeah. that's like really long and, and like four yeah. spread out yeah, pieces. Yeah. Okay. so. That looks like chalet, but it could be this other comp. I have to pull up the message. Interesting. So because they they were very similar, and okay. that, and I believe they wound up merging. That's interesting. So I have to go back and re reread the message and get the correct info and paste that on to you. Alrighty. Because sometimes when I read these messages, it's like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, he answers. Okay, so for those of you. <laughs> who send us eBay messages. Andrew is usually the responder to the eBay messages. And he normally sits down when I take the kids up to bed. Yeah. And so he's responding to messages late in the evening. First thing in the morning, late at night, and like maybe once throughout the course of the day. But I cannot be attached to my phone and answering all the messages that come in. So I have, I have times set up where it's like convenient, like in the middle of the day, before things are ending, if they have questions about stuff for that night, yeah. um, or late at night when nobody else is bothering me, when I can just sit there. <laughs> and that's when I when send the out- When kids running around like crazy. Well, th that's when I send out invoices. I wait till after all the listings are done for the night. Yeah. Because people will buy multiple things and I don't, I don't want to send out an invoice say. too fast. So I just, I wait till late at night or early in the morning. Oh, oh, where did she go? We have a flying Astrid. Astrid, come back! Come here. Where are you going? Uh, She's just decided I'm out. I've had enough. Where did you go? Why, why are did you, you flying away? Why did you away? fly away? <laughs> She's bored. She's like, I've had enough. Um, so I pulled this off of our shelf. This right here is a silver overlay. It's got some tarnish on it, but it has flowers. I thought that was pretty. I don't even remember where we got that. And also this piece. Ooh, it's still got dirt in it. Casey's gonna love that. <laughs> it's just a pedestal planter. I was looking on the bottom to see if it had um, Hager on it. But the bottoms kind of remind me of, um, I think it's Cameron County. I think it's kind of what the bottoms remind me of. Uh, I think it's Cameron County Clay Products was the company. Uh, but I'm not positive on that one. But they have a very similar bottom to that. It's, it's, it's also very close to Royal Copley, but I don't know. This doesn't strike me as Royal Copley. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making stuff up. These, you had some of these. Yeah, look at this. I think uh, that's the reason. I think that Cosmos one, or something? Yeah, Cosmos. Well, this one's, yeah, this one's got some doinks. That's why I think that one was sitting there. Because there's a set of six and cups, up, cups there. up there. And those cups up there also have what, what Are you crazy about those birds downstairs making all that noise? Yeah. So this piece right here is Cosmos, um, and it's Stemless Daisy. But the reason this didn't get listed is because of the damage on it. But I guess we could list this. Oh, it's also got a giant crack. Does it? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's worth listing. Oh, this is cool. I think that. This is the... Prince Charles, Lady Diana. Oh. This was this is uh, uh, when they got married, July 29th, 1981. 
That's okay. that's pretty cool. It's a shame we don't have a salsa. Princess Diana was very, very popular, very well loved. Um, I liked her. I like that. It's a shame what happened to her. That was sad. Mm -hmm. That was very sad. Right, so we'll put that in there. There's so many little things up here. I'm like, ooh, I, I like know. that. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like, ooh, what about one of these? Yeah, that's Jeanette Glass, I think. So this piece right here, oh, I know why this wasn't listed. This has a bunch of chips on it. Does it? Oh. Yeah. Maybe that's why some of this crap is I think that's why it's up there. A lot of this is just unfortunately damaged. You can see the cracks here on the edge. But I believe this is a Jeanette Glass piece, this little Scotty dog. It's kind of a popular piece. There's also one with a deer on it. Um, we could, I guess we could still sell it. It's under the lid. I hear a child coming. Yeah, he came in already. I, I, just, <laughs> I was like... <laughs> He's still in his pajamas. <laughs> no, he's wearing, he's wearing shirts and shirts. Uh, we live in our pajamas these days. I don't. Yeah, you actually get dressed in the morning. I'm like, <laughs> leggings for the next five weeks. Uh, I don't know. What do you think about this one? Oh, oh that thing is gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, I can tell you the reason this piece didn't get listed is because we tried taking pictures of this, like, three or four times. And, I, and we just... Every couldn't time get the right we couldn't get the right pictures, there was just this awful glare on it, and it just I couldn't. But Casey's actually really super good at getting getting the pictures right. So um, this one is eighteen ninety five, and it's not marked Limoges. It's not marked Austria. Oh, it does have an incised mark there that I missed. But yeah, so I don't know. It's a vanity tray, but I guess it could also be used as like a serving tray. But it doesn't have handles, so probably not. Um, this one makes me nervous to put in this box. It's my, uh... Well, just take some paper and lay some paper flat, or, yeah. or in there, and then just sit it in there on top flat. Because um, we also have some stuff downstairs already put in a tote. Yes, this was stuff that I brought over from the building. Yeah. Because you were bored. I was bored, and I'm like, I need stuff to list, and then we went and visited Eric, and we got some amazing stuff. So that stuff just... So, sucked. yeah. wrong with this one? I don't know what's wrong with it's that. It's marked USA. Did you see that? Oh no, I didn't see that. Come in, come you didn't notice that? Give me that. Oh, what's wrong with that is it doesn't have a lid. Or if it does have a lid, it's somewhere in that box. Really? Yeah. Oh, there is a lid for that. I know there is. Is there? There's a white lid. Is there? Yes. Are you sure? Go on a seek and search mission. Is it's there? Here. It's in one of these boxes. Is there? Are you sure? Yes. Oh. Is I, there? Uh, yes. Are you sure? Find it. <laughs> Good luck. What about little boat, little Jack Horner? Put little Jack Horner. Little in. Jack Horner. Like, but now I've got that that so train. Just put some more paper on top. Oh, just makes paper. me so just nervous. Paper. Just paper. Cushion it real quick. Little Jack Horner can go in there. I don't think this is gonna make it in this time, to be honest. Okay. Maybe I'll list that. I'll clean it out and list it. Did you there not you find go. the lid for that? No. We'll have to find the lid for that. Yes. All right. All right, I think that's it. I think we filled the box. Oh, filled the box? Cool. What is that? This is um, for the decommissioning of the uh, USS William H. Stanley, 1994. Really this is sorry. actually got, this This actually was a naval person that probably served on that ship. That was probably his souvenir from the yeah. decommissioning. I don't we'll know what kind of ship that too. was. I'll have to look that up. That's kind of cool. I forgot we had that. I forgot we had a lot of this stuff, to be honest. <laughs> Some really cool stuff. We're here. getting two boxes out of here, so that's great. Now, throughout the day, I just have to remember to come up here and grab stuff and uh, list it. <laughs> if I can remember that it's up here. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. If mother says no as grandma, that's I a winner. I remember that one. Yeah, that's a winner. I love that. Maybe we paid a dollar for this. No glass mug. It's a little display thing for. Oh, you're finding. Maybe I'll put a cannonball. I have a small three pound Revolutionary War cannonball that'll fit right in this. There you go. Is that glass or plastic? This is glass. Mm. This is actually pretty nice. I mean, it's a modern cloche with base. Hmm. Not clock, cloche. 
Exactly. C-L-O-C-H-E. That's a thing. A cloche? It is now. What the heck is a cloche? I don't know. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's that little display thing. I've never the, heard it's, that. It's the make mark. Oh, Michael's. This is a Michael's item. Uh, this will fit a little three pound thing. Yeah, as soon as you get all that tape residue off, the lot. And I think the bottom's actually, yeah, the bottom's pottery. That's a nice piece. Yeah. Don't you think so, Astrid? She's like, um. I don't care. Leave me alone. Oh, those are some of my favorite lamps. Back there, I've got that lady lamp. Now, these are chalkware lamps. Ooh, so. I got a better idea. What? Walter dug his first cannonball fragment. Oh, that's right, from the shelling. From the shelling of Carlisle. Yes. And uh, he's got that. I have to soak that in vinegar to get all the crusties off of it. Um, and once I do that, then I have a little stand and it will fit right in here. There you go. I used to actually use this lamp. I rotate my lamps. Every, you know, crazy lamp lady rotates their lamps, but it actually has two bulbs down there. And uh, yeah, that one back there. We got that from George's, but it's chalkware, so it's super heavy and expensive to ship, so that's why it lives there. This lamp, you guys might remember this. Sue and I were going to do a giveaway, and it just got pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and didn't happen. I'm going to have to give this back to Sue so that she can do a giveaway on her channel. There you go. Isn't that a great idea? That's an excellent idea. Oh, I just noticed there's an outlet back there. I didn't know we had an outlet in the closet. Yes. What? Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As boring as it was. It was pretty boring, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but like I said, we've got plans this week. We're gonna go over to Paul's warehouse while practicing social distancing because it's just us. Um, and we're gonna walk around, find some more stuff, maybe go through some of those banana boxes. Um, I think that would be a fun thing to do. You've got a phone call. I have a phone call. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Feather dog. He's a feather dog. He's a feather dog. He's just like, love me, cuddle me, hold me. Aren't you? He's Aren't a ya? baby. And he doesn't hurt. He no. does not. He's, there's like, I don't think there's a mean bone in this bird's body. Like Ashton can stick his fingers in there. And he and Walter plays with him like he's really good with everybody I mean, except with you. No, he hangs out with me. I just can't put my fingers near him. I don't know. He doesn't like my fingers. And then we and then we play. <laughs> but someday you'll love me, right? Maybe maybe you'll let me pet you. Where are you gonna bite my fingers? Oh, oh, oh that's a first. Usually she wants to rip my fingers off. She, she does not man. like me. She likes me. <sighs> oh, okay. the growly bird. It's okay. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>